PSA Peugeot Citroen and China's Dongfeng Motor Group CEOs welcomed on Wednesday a framework deal that will see state-owned Dongfeng Motor Group and the French government take matching 14% Peugeot stakes in a 3 billion euro capital increase. The signing of the deal, which will bring the French carmaker much needed cash and greater access to Asia, but leave major challenges ahead, was overseen by French President François Hollande and visiting Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. New Peugeot CEO Carlos Tavares must now turn around unprofitable European operations, halt persistent Latin American losses, deliver on China plans that many consider ambitious, and treat a Russian headache that may be about to worsen. The tie-up allows Peugeot and Dongfen to extend their existing Chinese joint venture to co-develop vehicles, ramp up production to grab a bigger share of the world's largest auto market, and export their cars around Asia. Robert Peugeot, who heads the family holding company, welcomed the deal, saying the family business would remain active in the group. With losses mounting almost everywhere else, Peugeot has high hopes for China, pledging a near trebling of sales with Dongfeng to 1.5 million vehicles in 2020. In a second Chinese venture with Chang'an, Peugeot expects to sell out its annual production capacity of 200,000 upscale DS vehicles by 2016, as the company prepares to roll out a new DS5 LS midsize sedan. While Peugeot gave no geographical breakdown of last year's 2.32 billion euro loss, the carmaker has confirmed it's losing money in Latin America and Russia.